Streetcars and this type of transportation has been around in El Paso since the 18, 1800s. This was a way to get across the border in a safe and sophisticated way. El Paso City Lines, which was the operator, um, ran streetcars here. There was an, actually a fairly extensive system. We had at one point 63 miles a streetcar line in our city. At the end of World War II, the original streetcars were in pretty bad shape. San Diego was following the trend, getting rid of their PCCs. The city of El Paso picked up 17 of them in 1950. Those cars came here, they were modified slightly to work here, and worked until the end of service in 1974. In a way, the streetcar was a victim of its own success. The streetcar made it too easy for Mexican nationals to come and shop in downtown El Paso. If you're a shop owner in Juarez and you see your business dwindling and transferring over to the other side of the border, it's not going to make you too happy. There was an issue with toll collections from the Mexican side over the bridges. And then overnight, uh, there was a group of people that came with jackhammers and ripped out the streetcar line on the Juarez side. So there was a truncated, a broken line that ran through El Paso before they finally ended it. I think uh, the people that managed the city started seeing this renaissance of streetcar and light rail systems going on across the country. You have folks from the Streetcar Preservation Society like Ron Dawson, um, Prince McKenzie, who had fought so hard to keep the streetcars there. It just so happened that the city of El Paso had access to historic vehicles. Because we live in a dry temperate climate, um, those streetcars had relatively small issues. Being in the desert meant that they were preserved. Since we did have access to historic vehicles and there was a well-known manufacturer that can do the restoration, the rest of it was fairly simple. We're getting the classic shell, the Art Deco design look with basically new insides. We're really getting the best of both worlds. Bringing back the same cars that ran between El Paso and Juarez shifts the conversation from if we should go back to Mexico to when are we going back. I'd like to see it go back over the bridge. I'd like to see it act as more of a bridge, you say, economic and socially between the two cities. In the height of the line in the 1960s, there were over 500 trips a day between El Paso and Juarez on the PCC streetcar. One of the, one of the benefits of streetcar is that it actually encourages riders and stops and economic development along your routes. These are tracks in the street, so they're not going anywhere. So developers see that. You're starting to see these, these new things pop up, these nodes of development. And ultimately that gives El Paso another option of where to live, work, and play. Revenue service is scheduled to start of the week before Thanksgiving. We're going to have two loops. There will be an uptown and a downtown loop. We will be running six days a week. Now that can change. We'll be running the service on Friday until one o'clock in the morning. On Saturdays, it'll run until midnight. And again, it'll be off on Sunday. The fare is going to be the exact fare as it is for riding the Sun Metro bus. So it'll be a very seamless transfer between the bus and the streetcar. The city of El Paso was a, a leader in the Southwest for many, many decades. I think this streetcar fits right into that. And it's just another example of how we're investing in our community. Uh, I think we're, we're really remarkable in that we had a street, and one of the only international streetcar lines that ran. It was a streetcar line that was a, not just a, a symbol for us, but also a tremendous economic driver. Only in El Paso is produced by KCOS, El Paso PBS, in collaboration with local filmmakers and PBS Digital Studios. Only in El Paso is made possible by support from El Paso Museums and Cultural Affairs Department, working to develop a world-class arts community in El Paso, Texas. El Paso Electric, proud to be your local utility. And Visit El Paso, raising the profile of El Paso to attract visitors from near and far.